AC EMF is applied to LCR circuit. L is the inductor, C is the capacitor, R is the resistor. Now, here, this is called L. Now, this is called C. Now, this is called R. Right? L. What do you say? C. Now, this is called, what do you say? R. Both are applied. A, C, E, M, F. Now, EMF is represented by E. What is the applied EMF? Applied EMF. E is equal to E naught sin omega t. Applied EMF E is equal to E naught sin omega t. Now, what is the voltage across the inductor VL? What is the voltage across the capacitor VC? What is the voltage across the resistance that is called VR? Therefore, here, now the resultant of, the resultant of, resultant of VL, comma, VC, comma VR is equals to is equals to E. Right? Suppose if it is not at all AC current we came to know that E is equals to VL plus VC plus what to say VR. Now here in this case with, by using the vector diagram, it is possible to calculate the resultant EMF by using VL, VC, VR. Now, separately, now this is called inductor. This is called inductor. Now, this is called what to say capacitor. Separate. Now, this is called what to say resistor. C and what to say L. What is the EMF expression? EMF is equal to EMF is equal to E naught sin omega t. Here L here is also E is equal to E naught sin omega t. Here is also E is equal to E naught sin omega t. Right? What is the current expression? Current expression is equal to that is I naught sin omega t minus 90. Right? Here in this case I is equal to I naught sin omega t plus pi by 2. Here I is equal to I naught sin omega t. Right? AC EMF is applied across the inductor. AC EMF applied across the capacitor. AC EMF applied across the resistor. Now, whenever AC EMF is applied across only inductor, current is lagging. There is a minus. Current is lagging the EMF by 90 degrees. Now, in the case of capacitor, I is equal to, there is a plus, current is leading by the EMF. Current lags, a current lags, current lags EMF by 90 degrees. Here, plus pi by 2, current leads, current leads, that is E by, what to say, 90 degrees. But in the case of resistor, the current and E are in a same phase, are in a same phase. Right? What is the phase difference between EMF and current? 90 degrees. What is the phase difference between EMF and current in the case of capacitor? 90 degrees. In the case of resistor, right, there is no phase difference between voltage and the current. Thereby, because there is a phase difference between EMF and current, 
in order to calculate the resultant emf we are using the vector diagram as we are using the vector diagram means now what is the vector diagram let us consider right in the case of resistor this is called what to say x axis now this is called what to say y axis this is the y axis now this is the y axis this is point o now this is called positive y axis this is called negative y axis right now here in this case in the case of resistor current and voltage both are under same phase right current and voltage both are under same phase now current is there now current is there that is the current direction and voltage is also along the same direction what is the voltage across the resistance vr now the vr is represented by like this therefore oa is called what to say vr voltage right in the case of resistor in the case of resistor voltage and current both are under same phase therefore voltage and the current both are under same phase therefore here in this case therefore if the voltage is represented by oa that is vr across the resistance next let us consider inductance inductance now inductance here now inductance is represented by ob here this is called voltage across the inductance voltage across the inductance vl is represented by ob now here vl is here vl is here vl is now taken as vl is taken as along the y axis right that means see this is called inductor this is called what to say capacitor now what is the current this is a current right what is the current this is a current now if you go like this this is plus 90 degrees if you go like this this is minus 90 degrees therefore in the case of inductor in the case of inductor current is lagging behind the voltage by 90 degrees therefore lagging behind like this right this is called what to say 90 degrees therefore ob this is called ob is representing ob is representing voltage across the right inductor next one in the case of capacitor current is leading voltage by 90 degrees that is plus 90 right plus 90 means here let us consider let us consider this is represented by oc right therefore oc represents what to say vc now here in this case oa 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 is represented by voltage across the resistance next ob is represented by voltage across the inductor oc is represented by voltage across the what to say capacitor now here why we are taking that is vr along the x axis right vl is along the y axis vc along the what to say y axis negative y axis 